Okay, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, I saved the best for last. All right. Um, so I did say general love reading. This is not a twin soul reading. However, um, if the twin soul cards come out, I will be sure to let you know, Pisces. And like I said, this is a timeless read. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. However, we will be focusing on the energy of September. So let's go ahead and um, dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and energy clear your space one second. All right, I'm going to be starting out with my Oceanic Tarot. What do we have for Pisces for the month of September, please? Pisces for September. Pisces for September, please. <clears throat> Pisces for September. Pisces for September, please. Pisces for September. Alright, Ooh, that card flew out. So the first card we have, ooh, out of the way, Rose Quartz. Big ass. Okay, so we have <clears throat> the Hanged Man, which is a limbo. <laughs> well, I think the reading's done. You have nothing going on for your love life in September. <laughs> Say, just playing. We're going to keep going, Pisces. Wow. Destiny. So it's meant to be like that for a reason. There's no movement, right? Nothing happening. Everything feels like a stalemate. But there's a purpose behind it. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which means destiny and fate. It's also about closing off major karmic cycles, okay? So maybe you're working on karmic cycles right now. Maybe that's why there's no movement. Possibility. So we have Seven of Cups possibility. Well, hmm. Let's keep going. <clears throat> there could be something beautiful in the makes here. We don't know. Let's see. The Seven of Cups is about having beautiful options. So, where there's no movement, movement, it'll, it'll, it's going to start. Let's see. Let's see where we're going with this Pisces. I think I can tell where the energy is going, but I don't know for sure yet. Ten of Wands. All right. So, you are cl closing out a lot of karmic cycles. You will have some options coming in, but... Right now, you have your you have a lot on your plate, Pisces. We have Ten of Wands, which is like lots of responsibility. Um, you know, it's like taking care of all the three D stuff, work, kids, bills. Uh, yeah, I feel you on that, Pisces. That's what I'm doing right now. All that karmic cycle too. Oh, look at that! But they're saying you got this, Pisces. You're super resilient. You have everything that you need to close out these cycles. Um, you're doing an amazing job, okay? <clears throat> Stay focused on the path that you're on. Okay? Clarity's coming, Pisces. It's on the way. <laughs> Trust the process, baby. There it is. Completion. See? After all this big cycle of baloney pony right <laughs> i was gonna say a cuss word but i don't want to get flagged on youtube so we're gonna say that okay i was gonna say bull you know look we have ten of cups completion and this is a happy completion this is happily ever after right this is a happily ever after card it's one of the happiest cards in the deck besides the sun you know so it's going to start out, so in September, it's going to feel like there's nothing happening. There's nothing happening. I'm just swamped with work. I'm swamped with kids. I'm bored. Ugh. And, you know, but you're going to have some clarity soon. Something's going to happen, which is going to, you know, throw all this crap out the water. You're going to realize um, something that is going to make everything easier. It's going to, you know, once the cycle closes, right, with the... The Wheel of Fortune, we got completing these cycles. There's happiness at the end of all of this, okay? And there's also options coming in in love. So 
<clears throat> for some of you, you're going to have so many people wanting to get your attention after this period of like nothing going on in your love life. It's going to feel quite overwhelming, I bet. <clears throat> so, all right. Let's get one more card, I suppose. What else do we have for Pisces? What's this final outcome for Pisces? <clears throat> Five of Cups Sadness. How does it go from the happiest card in the deck, which is Ten of Cups, to Sadness? What is going on? Hold on one second, Pisces. Okay, sorry if you hear the clicking in the background. That's my ceiling fan. Okay, so we got two conflicting cards. We have the happiness card and we have five of cups. So let me pull one more card and figure out why do we have this five of cups here, please? Can you tell me why we have this five of cups here, please? Why do we have the five of cups here, please? Do, 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 do. Hmm. And it just gets more and more confusing. So it feels like there's some kind of creative project that's not going to go well, maybe. Because um, we have five, or er, sorry, Page of Wands, which is creativity. So <clears throat> I'm feeling like, you know, you got ten of cups. So five of cups is because you're letting go of, you know, sadness in regards to like something in your love life, right? This cycle, it definitely doesn't feel easy, Pisces. It definitely doesn't feel easy is what I'm trying to say. So huge hugs to you. You're doing such a fantastic job. You know, oh man, these karmic cycles are definitely not easy. They're just, they're, they're rough. Trust me. I've been trying to get out of one for like two years. It's really hard. And it feels like every time I pull myself out, I'm, I go down another two steps only to go up, you know, one more step. So I understand, um, we have judgment on the bottom of the deck, which showing me that you, you've been doing a lot of self-reflecting this year. Um, there may have been some creative projects that didn't go as expected. And so that might be, you know, f making you feel a little bit like, see, we got these two cards, like, so here's the thing, Pisces, can I say this? Be careful that we don't define our success on what other people th deem as successful, right? As long as you're continuing to do the things that make you happy, you are successful, okay? Any type of creative project that doesn't go as expected, it's because it wasn't meant for you to be doing that path. Try something else. Does that make sense? I, this is a lesson I've, I've also needed to learn as well. See, we got Seven of Wands, which is endurance. It's again in this energy of like... On your last leg, feeling like you're just, you're fed up, right? But at the end of this beautiful cycle of clearing out all of these things that you were struggling with in the month of September, you have amazing things coming in. Look what's the next card, Nine of Pentacles, which is gratitude, right? And this is this is also, when you, when you take the Nine of Pentacles in conjunction with, you know, and when you combine it with the Ten of Cups, you have money coming in. You have a lot of things to feel grateful for and you have happiness. So, and look, there you go. We have two nines, a wish fulfilled, nine of cups. So in your love life, you have lots of beautiful things coming in. You also have money coming in. You have a lot of wonderful things. And look, the next card, six of swords, calm. So you're going to have inner peace. You're going to have financial stability and you're going to have a wish fulfilled in love. You have amazing things. And look at after this cycle, so much growth. Ace of Wands. It's incredible. You, The next partnership you have coming in, look. And again, that's the card of options. So you get to decide what, what happens next in your love life. You, no one else. Okay, whoa. Remember, you create your reality, Pisces. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> see what the romance angels have to say about your love life. My beautiful water signs, okay? 
What else do we have for Pisces? Okay. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there's definitely someone that you're getting closer to. You're getting to know each other. You're having those late night conversations. It feels exciting and wonderful. It's like when you first start to crack those deep, intimate moments within each other, right? Stay optimistic about your love life. Stay positive, okay, Pisces? Positive thinking and faith is going to bring you romance. So don't give up so easily on yourself or on your connection, okay? <clears throat> As human beings, we tend to make things harder than it is, right? What's the last and final message from Pisces Romance Angels, please? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So see, there's something blossoming. There's something budding. You're getting to know your partner on an intimate level. Things are heading in the right direction, okay? Um, you're developing intimacy with your partner right now. That's what's happening. And if you stay optimistic about your connection and keep at it, even if you hit these little rough patches, it's going to be worth it, I think, in the end. Look at that. And the angels are blessing your connection. So take time to smell the flowers. Keep getting to know each other. And <clears throat> I think things are going to go extremely well for you, Pisces. All right, let's go ahead and get your spirit messages. Spirit messages do we have for Pisces, please? Whoa, that one flew out. 21, own your path. Wow. So I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. Look at that. You do. And Pisces and Aquarius, you guys are my rebels of the Zodiac. You guys definitely allow yourself to forge your own path. Look, she's holding, she's shining the light. She's saying, I'm the light keeper. I shine my own light and I do it how I want to. I don't ask anybody's permission to follow my path. I just follow it. She's making the path herself. She's not relying on other people's paths. She's making her own path. She's got two dragon guides here. And look at all of that light radiating from just that spot in her hand. Some of you are healers. Look at that. That's the healer energy right there. <clears throat> She's healing with her hands. So some of you probably do Reiki or energy healing, right? It's number three. You're also an ascended master energy. Of course, that's why you're here, right? That's why you found me. I only fuck with the highest energies. <laughs> so if you're here, you're probably way up there on that, on that totem pole. <laughs> 39, flames of wisdom, crone. Look at that. It's the wisdom of the ancestors, you carry that. So even though we got this young, beautiful energy here, look, she's, you might be like a young feminine, right? But look, you have wisdom of the ages. The owls represent wisdom and knowledge. It says I'm open to all of life's wisdom and I share it with gratitude. So you are a spiritual teacher, okay? This is number 12. Number 39 added up, it's 12. So 12. I love you too, buddy. So 12. Again, that's three. We have three, three. Do you need to go to the bathroom, buddy? <clears throat> Sorry, Pisces. My littles are awake. Do you have to go to the bathroom, buddy? Come here. That's two numbers of the Ascended Masters. Look at that, Pisces. Phenomenal. Oh my God. You got to go to the bathroom? We have three, 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 three. I have never had that much of a number synchronicity ever, Pisces. That's incredible. Hold on a second. Okay, so sorry about that. My five-year-old is potty training, so he, he's like, I got, I have to poop. <laughs> so this, okay, but, oh my God. Okay, so the energy, can I just say Pisces? Holy, holy fuck. Holy fuck. That's what I'm going to say to this. We have three. We have three. We have three, three. You have beautiful energy. You have beautiful aligned energy, Okay. The sun goddess. Wow. 
So some of you are dealing with a fire sign or you have a lot of fire in your charts. Um, you would benefit from going outside and allowing those beautiful sun codes. You also have very strong dragon energy around you. So you probably have dragon guides, multiple dragon guides. There's three dragons here too as well. There's another three. Oh my goodness. There's so many messages. Um, okay, so again, this energy feels like a healer energy. So, you know, not only are you a spiritual teacher and a healer, you have vast amounts of knowledge that you would benefit from teaching to the world. Okay, so you're probably, um, you probably already are a spiritual teacher or a spiritual guide and people look to you for um, spiritual guidance. So continue to go down that path. Oh, I need to shut my phone off. Um, hold on. It's gonna, or else we're gonna keep getting disturbed. Look at that, it's beautiful. So, and then, um, there's the dragon guide here. See, so it says, uh, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So, there's that healer energy again. Okay, <clears throat> what else? Um, so yeah, I feel like connecting to your healer um, energy is going to help you in your love life somehow. Maybe you'll meet someone that you'll do a healing for or something. All right, let's do your career path. We'll get two cards for your career, and then we're going to do the spirit guide, which is helping you with this union, and we're going to call it a reading. So I think I'm going to call your reading Healing Hands of Love. Just there was so much energy of like healer. Healer energy is so beautiful and bright. <clears throat> It's very Leo-like as well, so I don't know. For some of you, maybe your partner is a Leo. Um, the Sun Goddess card, whenever it comes out, it always reminds me of Leo energy, so I don't know how that's going to resonate with you, but it's, it's just it's beautiful, okay? All right, so we have Let Go of Guilt. So this is about um, allowing yourself to not feel guilty for anything that you didn't know when you were unawakened. Um, forgiving, mainly forgiving yourself. I mean, it's a, it's about forgiving other people too, right? But it's, it's mainly forgiving yourself, right? Um, you know, the divine loves you unconditionally. Your angels love you unconditionally. So do your ancestors, all of your guides. So... Let go of any guilt for things that you feel like you may have done wrong in the past. And I understand this as well because I'm going through this. Um, we had an animal pass away recently and, you know, that animal was like family for us. Sorry about that, Pisces. And um, I've held on to a lot of guilt for feeling like I could have done more to save this animal because it happened so unexpectedly and releasing this guilt around his death has been very hard for me and very traumatic and it's been a huge shadow that I've been dealing with since July <clears throat> um, so I understand that let go of anything that um, makes you feel guilty and release it with love and with beautiful lightness in your heart you can go on YouTube and find meditations um, or hypnosis is that will help you with that. That's my YouTube is my go go to for anything in regards to healing, <laughs> and it's free, you know. And this will help you to bring abundance into your career as well. Take a divinely guided chance, woo! So if you're thinking of taking some risky, um, There's a risky move you're, you're thinking about doing, right? As far as your business goes, um, this feels like the entrepreneur card or something, right? Take that chance. You're, you're going to be blessed. It says divine guidance is being, um, the steps are being shown to you. You're being divinely guided. The divine guidance is coming from your guides and your ancestors. So trust it. It says every successful venture involves risk, so you're ready for it, okay? You're ready for it. 
Leave behind whatever doesn't feel good and go towards what is working for you, Pisces. Wow, such a beautiful reading. I can't. You guys are fucking phenomenal, Pisces. I love you. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see the spirit guide that is aiding you in your union. And we'll see um, what messages I can divine from you from that last final card. If something resonated, then please um, go ahead and comment. I love to read your comments, Pisces. Um, I also love um, sharing energy with y'all. So, you know, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe. It's free to like, subscribe. It's also free to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my videos, okay? I've been uploading buku videos on this channel, like, nonstop. So, tons of content, like, tons, you guys, tons. The camel boy, small steps and asking for help. Look at that. 33 again. You cannot make it up. Three is your number of the freaking month of September. So anytime you see threes, Pisces, you know you're on the right path. Those threes are going to follow you everywhere. As soon as you see a three, you know you're making the right decision. I'm just going to go ahead and say that because they're screaming at me. They are screaming at me, Pisces. Okay. So you're taking small steps in the right direction. Okay. Okay. You're following your lights with childlike wonder. Look at that. It's a camel boy. It's a little boy and he's playing the, fl the flute. He has not a care in the world. Okay. If something comes up that you feel is too big for you to tackle, reach out to all your spiritual friends or your non-spiritual friends. Don't be afraid to ask for help in regards to something, anything, whether it's career related or you know, related to your love life, don't be afraid. I mean, reach out, ask someone. Maybe you have spiritual friends. Maybe you can ask them for a reading. Hell, you can book a reading with me, Pisces. I'll help you. <laughs> you have questions about your love life? Holla at your girl. I'm here. That's what I'm here for. Um, and I lowered my prices significantly because I wanted y'all to be able to have access to me. You know, I think everyone should be able to have access to healing. And that's one of the main reasons why I do what I do. Um, it tends to make me more swamped and more busy than I'd like to be. But when I get to the point where I feel like I cannot do any more reads, I'll just, I'll just say, you know what? No more readings for this month until I get caught up or whatever. Um, so it, it's okay. Like we're, we're doing, we're doing the thing. Okay. So, all right, Pisces, that's your reading for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed it. I, of course, save the best for last. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. Um, maybe next month I'll start with you. Um, so that way it's kind of, you know, you don't always feel like you're the last one. I'm sorry. I just tend to start with Aries and then go down to Pisces. I should probably switch it up because it's really not fair to you and Aquarius. But I love you guys so fiercely. And if you want to book a reading with me, um, all of my prices are in the description box underneath the video. And you just have to click on that little goldie appointment fix. And there's a, it, it'll put pull up a uh, website that says book now um, and then just go ahead and book and you don't have to pay until I send you the invoice so don't worry about like <clears throat> you know having to pay right up front all right so I love you Pisces I hope you enjoyed this reading and bye